afternoon. This is the Live Music Showcase. My name is Randy Wind, and it is my pleasure today that we have as our guest on the Live Music Showcase the acclaimed indie rock band from Atlanta, Gringo Star. Hello, everybody. This first song is called Mr. Mystery. star on the live music showcase hey, if that show song is an indication uh, gringo star is a thoroughly modern band but some of the songs have a real retro feel is that would you say that's correct um yeah correct. i would because because uh, that uh, you know you can hear that one dr dropping yeah, we, back uh, we definitely like dropping back to the 50s maybe we do like old files. music we can't lie about that files. so uh, let's introduce the band uh it's a brother band is that correct Yep, four uh, brothers, let's two let, blood brothers. Let, let, let's hear about the blo uh, the blood brothers first. You guys are the two uh, two original members of uh, Gringo Star, which uh, you started back what about two thousand seven, two thousand eight? Exactly, back in the day. So Peter and Nick, mm -hmm. yes, yes, and you say the last name, Fergiuelli. 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 Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to try to say that again. <laughs> that was perfect. But um. But you guys, uh, you guys are uh, uh, Ringo Starr got started uh, in Atlanta about uh, what uh, twelve years ago. You've had put out four, five, six albums, depending on what you call an album. Is that about yeah, right? Yeah, we just put out number six album last Friday. Um, 
it was it's a, our first live album. We have five studio records and live record. We have a couple forty fives that aren't on the records, but cool. Well, you have to leave it. Yeah, stuff. you'll have to leave us the new one. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, so tell us a, 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 just a little history of the band. Uh, why you got started? How you got started? Way back when, uh, you, you, a veteran band now, uh, 10, 12 years old. Feels pretty old. Yeah, well, me and Nick have always been like writing songs together. And even growing up, mm -hmm. high school. Yeah, he was in elementary school. <laughs> we just keep going. Played the eighth you know? grade dance. And, and and so, uh, how did it? How did it? How did it? It start? Were you playing uh, just as a duo, or did you work into uh, clubs? Uh, where where was the, where? It was a uh, two or three years before you got a record out. Is that right? So what were you? What was going on? With we Rico actually Star started. With even more stuff, we had like rain sticks and all kinds of things, and we trimmed it down to what we have now. And who came up with that name, Gringo Star? Nick. One day, it's still up under discussion. Yeah. And, and what, what were you thinking, Nick? Were you thinking this will be a, this will get uh, people's uh, attention and think they're going to get a, a, a they're going to a Beatles show or something? <laughs> Quite. Quite the opposite, actually. Uh, it was more of a, we were getting called Gringo a bunch at a restaurant we worked at by some fellow employees. Kind of stemmed from that. It was more Gringo than Ringo, for sure. But, uh, yeah, every time they do the double R now, it's like, dang. Well, it's, it's expected. Okay, well, the band in our studio today is Gringo Star with one R at the end. Good accent. From, uh, from Atlanta, Georgia. They are here in our studio. They're going to be playing uh, in Tampa tonight at Ella's uh, Americana Folk Arts Cafe Restaurant on, uh, on, on Nebraska Avenue in uh, Seminole Heights. Tomorrow night, you guys are in uh, Orlando. Will's? Yes, sir. Will's Place. <laughs> um, Will's Pub. Will's Pub. And, uh, and so uh, if you're on uh, the, that side of our listening area, you, you can check them out tomorrow night in Orlando or tonight at... Uh, at Ella's, which is a great venue, and uh, I think it's going to be packed. Gringo Star playing Ella's is quite an event. So uh, let's have another song. All right, this next one's called Black Knight. <laughs> Keeps me 
Well, there's a little psychedelia coming in that one, huh? You guys uh, have a really great sound. Sometimes you're described as psychedelic, garage. I just hear some great music happening. Gringo Star is the band. We're switching around some uh, some instruments here. If you want to see what's going on with the show, we are on Facebook Live. And uh, you can check out uh, WMNF Live Music Showcase on Facebook. Or uh, I'm sure uh, the band has... Uh, has linked up some of their pages. Uh, I know my page is linked up. Somewhere, somewhere on your Facebook page, you'll see this show happening on Facebook Live. And uh, we just switched around. Uh, J- Josh and uh, and Nick have uh, switched places. What, what, what's the reason for that? I'm going to play guitar now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to play guitar now. Okay. That's, that's, uh, that's Nicholas talking. Right here on 88.5 WMNF in Tampa, the live music showcase. I want to thank our audio crew, Mark Perfetti and John Francis ba- Banker and Jane Goldie. It's a tough show to mix. The band's got a, uh, a, a dynamic sound that is just hard to, hard to capture. But um, the crew is doing a great job today. Uh, the live music showcase, we're here every Friday from 2, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Live music right here in our studio and today our guest is gringo star from atlanta georgia one of the acclaimed indie bands playing in america today so uh, let's hear another tune from gringo star this one's called back to the city So uh, you guys, uh, you brothers, uh, started this band uh, just a little over a decade ago. You might even call yourselves a, a veteran indie rock band at this point. Tell us uh, a couple of your, uh, uh, some of the best shows you've ever done. Some of the highlights of your, of your, uh, of your 10, 11, 12 years uh, playing as Gringo Star. 
Lollapalooza, Summerfest, yeah, a couple really festivals. Cool. Did, you, did, did you play Lollapalooza just once? Yeah. What what year was that? Ten years ago. And oh nine. And, and you were on the whole the entire tour. Uh no, that was when they just were doing Chicago. Okay. But um. So that was that was pretty crazy. That was pretty cool. We've done uh we did like a tour opening up for this band uh, Trail of Dead in Europe that was pretty cool like also around that time and pretty much there's just been tons of awesome shows you know just we were in europe earlier this year in february and march so and like, you, that was pretty awesome europe is a good place for you guys to go it's very nice and how do, how do they how do people know about a band like ringo star over in europe promoters of shows p- promote shows <laughs> and so they they just tell uh the, tell the all the the internet the, everybody that there's this awesome uh yeah you know, happening a lot of people, uh, so we actually get more and more people coming to our shows who have heard us on spotify so we uh are you familiar with spotify yes I mean, of course so get on certain playlists and uh you can get heard all over the place you know and do you have a way to to make sure that spotify uh keeps turning you up when uh people are looking for it's you know, re- i don't rock. really know how it works but some, sometimes we just kind of get lucky and some songs will end up on good playlists and you know it really seems it's kind of had some songs and like some tv exposure. shows and movies and stuff that also get you know there's like some pickup from that a little bit what, so what uh what tv shows or movies have you had music in uh netflix love uh-huh. show uh some I'd, commercials and shit. I'd say most of it is all the ground pound and and we just played a few thousand yeah, shows. Yeah, like playing point. the shows. And you got you guys there, like, you guys yeah. just about always play uh, South by Southwest, is that correct? We have a, we played a few. Yeah. But yeah, we've done that. Is it still as good times. as it used to be? <laughs> uh, we go out the there for are friends still as good and as food, food so, you know. <laughs> okay, well, we're talking to the band Gringo Star in our studios today. They're playing Ellis tonight. Uh, in in Tampa, and uh, we're getting a really great preview of uh, their uh, cool music, very cool music. So, what's coming up next? Uh, this song's called "Good Night." Don't realize what's happening. She yelled, "I didn't hear it. I'm happy in myself. They're gonna destroy you. I know you can tell." All I was thinking is that if it goes a tell I could be happy blindly walking by Everything reminds me, reminds me just a sign Say goodnight, baby Your 
Your songs end suddenly. It's like no, no warning. No fade out or anything like that, huh? All right, well, who writes the songs for Gringo Star? Who writes the songs that... Uh, me and Nick. You write it always together, or sometimes uh, sometimes it's all your song, Peter, and sometimes it's your brother's? We usually kind of work on them together. You know? Is one of you more the lyrical guy and one the musical guy? Mm. Like uh, Nick likes to think he's more the lyrical guy. <laughs> Peter, Peter thinks he's the musical guy, <laughs> and he probably is. So when when you when you're when you're writing songs, you know I'm not a songwriter. I just imagine it'd be really hard to come up with something that's not going to be trite. That's not going to you know that's actually going to catch people's interest. Do you think is is that a real challenge to write songs? Because mm. you guys are an, an original band. You pretty much do all all uh, original music. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends on what you're going for, I guess. You know. But yeah. <laughs> so, um, is is uh, is the song uh, more about the lyrics, or is it more about the beat and the melody? And mm -hmm. I'd say there's both. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's like sometimes you write stuff separately, and music. Maybe you have some chords or some melody. Maybe you then put some lyrics to it, and I don't know. I don't think we have a formula. Or maybe we have a formula. I don't know. So what? At the, the <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank our, our video crew. Uh, our video director is Bob Hoke. The crew is uh, Tom and Marcy Connors and Zeke Hernandez, who's over in the corner. Security on this uh, for this uh, live music showcase is handled by Leela Goldie and Lucayo Waterfield, making sure that you guys just aren't mobbed in the kitchen. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I'm glad we have security on the live music showcase. My name is Randy Wind, and I am uh, happy to be hosting the band Gringo Star from Atlanta, Georgia. You guys are uh, longtime WMNF favorites, played uh, a show or two for WMNF as well, and uh, we're excited that you're here on the Live Music Showcase. Can we hear another tune from you guys? This song's, uh, I'll go with Peter. This song's called Shadow. It was uh, off our album, Count Your Lucky Stars.
that's Gringo Star. And so that, that goes back to uh, like your second album. So you guys pretty much play from your entire catalog. Like if somebody goes to see you tonight at Skipper's or I mean at Ella's or tomorrow night at uh, Will's, they'll pretty much hear, you might hear anything from any of your albums. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we like to kind of keep some of the old ones for sure. And so a lot you, of them, yeah. I mean, a lot of those are the most well-known songs. So, I mean, you don't really have greatest hits, but you sort of do. You have some songs. No, but are, our our live album is kind of like that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the like the one we just released. Yeah, I mean that one's pulling from all of them. So, kind of like the ones that have stuck Find too. So. Gringo Star is our band. Hey, can we inter- introduce, we only talked to uh, Peter and Nick, uh, the two uh, brothers who uh, started the band, but can we get introduced to the other uh, two players here? We don't want to leave them out. Uh, Hello. Uh, <laughs> Hello. I think uh, Josh has been playing uh, some uh, guitar, some uh, lead guitar and some Hello, bass. Yes. Hi, Josh. How are you? How, how long have you been uh, with uh, Gringo Star? For about three years. Yeah. Yeah. And... Um, um, yeah. Where did you come from? I come from Atlanta as well, and you know I'd seen, the, uh, well, back when the brothers were in uh, a first you well, I would seen them play. So that's back once. in their their early early days. And I'd seen Gringo Star a bunch of times throughout the years, and so I was familiar with them. I was a fan really, and uh, they needed someone for a three month tour, and I just happened to be. We needed the right gunslinger. <laughs> well, that's cool when somebody who's a fan of a band can join a band. Yeah. I guess that must be really so cool. So I approached it not like, I'm going to, you know, this is going to be a different we band. Actually now, cor- <laughs> we actually courted him for quite a while. So you didn't come in trying to uh, change the band, huh? No. no, no. I, being a fan, I've, I've had a pretty good idea. Of, or, you know. And can we talk to I Mark? Like I like I just didn't go in. Hey, yeah. Hello. I'd like to talk to Mario about uh, about his, uh, how'd, he, how'd you get into Gringo Star, Mario? Well, hello there, and hello everyone out in Radio Land. Uh, he's in the drum uh, room, if uh, everybody's... Uh, I'm in the drum room. I answered an ad in an advert, local advert there, in the Creative <laughs> Loafing. They were looking for a drummer, and uh, so I answered it. And lo and behold, here I am, in the drum closet, talking to you and everyone out there in Radio Land. And when was, when was that? That was 1956. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. I've only been playing for about a year and a half. Uh huh. So you really put an ad in, in uh, Creative Loafing? And no, he's lying. <laughs> That's what it's got to be two years. We right? know you did that. No, that was yeah, it was at least two years. His first show was January 2017. Yeah, it's, it's been a couple. It's that makes two, two years, at least. So two years. Well, time flies when you're having two so point much. Six. It sure does. When you're having so much fun. And, and, it, and it has been fun. It's a, it's a it's a good band. They're good lads. <laughs> Let's hear another one. Tell us about the song before we play it, okay? So we we know what to look forward to. Well, this song is called Find a Love. It's off our third album that came out in the year 2013-ish. Floating Out to Sea was the name of that album. So you do about one every two years, sort yeah, of. Sometimes. Yeah. There was a little bit. There was like three years before the, yeah, I don't know, every couple of years, yeah. Um, yeah, you so can't for you can't force the creative juices along, you know. <laughs> you do that, then you start getting washed up, you know. <laughs> Even if it's like one song every ten years, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta, you gotta slow, slow it. Slow it in. There we go. Another day I can't rewind
Gringo Star, and uh, we're on Facebook Live. If you uh, want to check out Facebook Live, I think one of your friends is listen is uh, watching. Mike Crow says, uh, "Played with these dudes in Philly. Glad to see them still making great tunes." <laughs> Thank you, Mike. So, uh, yeah, people can t- check out uh, Facebook Live uh, wherever, wherever, the, where, where, anywhere in the world. Just uh, go to wmnf.org and look for our Facebook page. Or you might uh, find it on uh, one of the, if you're friends with the band or if you're friends with people at WMNF, you may find uh, that this is cruising on Facebook Live right now. It'll be sent up on uh, YouTube tonight by uh, probably by about six o'clock. It'll be a, a YouTube video at the WMNF YouTube page here at um, WMNF Tampa. And we want to let you know that coming up next. Uh, Coming up at uh, 3 o'clock, it's the Rhythm Revival, and Bob is going to be in. And I also want to let you know that uh, we, WMNF uh, has a circle of friends, and uh, this year we are turning 40 because of the support of Circle of Friends. If you're not in the Circle of Friends yet, you can give online today at WMNF.org or call 813-238-8001. Also, thanks to everybody who donated during the fund drive. And if you uh, didn't get a chance to pledge, you can go to the tip jar and pledge to the live music showcase. And if you did pledge, you can uh, send in your donation, uh, send in your donation or, or get us your uh, circle of friends information. So here we are, Gringo Star, the WMNF live music showcase. It's Friday afternoon. What could be better? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> Nicholas is back on guitar. What's what's going on with the next song? Uh, this one's off our couple albums ago it's called rotten off of sides and in between this is kind of one of your hits isn't it this is one of the hits yeah great tune called rotten <laughs>
Nice fade out. Thanks for doing that for me, guys. I was ready that time. All right. Well, uh, tell us about the show tonight at uh, at Ella's. Uh, you, I think it's nine o'clock. Is that right? Yeah, we yeah. go on at nine. And then you play a couple sets. How to nine three PM. sets? Yeah, five we're just, sets? We're doing I'm one a, set. <laughs> one long set. Approximately sixty-three minutes long, not including if we play more than sixty-three minutes. But uh, yeah, show goes off at nine. I think it's free. I heard the food's good. Get down I, there for I can't. Dinner. I can't talk about that, but uh, we like Ella's. It's a great place. It's just almost around the corner from here, so you guys don't have far to go. Sweet. Uh, this is eighty-eight five WMNF in Tampa. This is the live music showcase. Next week on the live music showcase, a great band from uh, Tampa Bay called Hotel Life. They play glam Americana, and it's very very cool. So you're going to want to check that out next week on the live music showcase at two o'clock every week. It seems like it's a fantastic band, and uh, we're really happy that Gringo Star is here today. Coming all the way from Atlanta, we're glad you guys drove all the way down for this showcase, and uh, we're happy that uh, that you're here. A Gringo Star with uh, Nick and his brother and their and their friends making up Gringo Star right here on 88.5. Tell us about the next tune that we're going to play called La La La.
So you guys have always had uh, Gringo Star has always had good, good, um, good media coverage uh, from uh, the major uh, music uh, writers in the in the world, uh, from uh, Consequence of Sound and Paste and Pop Matters and Rolling Stone, NPR, all have written glowing things about uh, about Gringo Star. And uh, how do, how does a, an in, an independent band like you? Uh, curry that kind of uh, attention fighting in the trenches <laughs> we're still waiting on the new york times piece but fighting in the trenches do you do you uh do you uh does it just come naturally or do you have to uh call up uh, people and say hey we've got this new album can you guys you write about it and kind of, uh, see what kind of money they're gonna take like, you know so, uh, if the public gets paid by the label Somebody might actually write something about it. You kind of subtly <laughs> get a gauge for what price they're going to accept, you know? Sometimes it's just like, you know, Big Mac and French fries, maybe a Coke. Well, I mean, it is impressive that you guys have put out independent releases that have uh, uh, scored pretty well on the uh, CMJ charts. You've been named as uh, best albums of the year for, uh, at various times. Uh, for an independent uh, band, it's it's very impressive. So, congratulations. Thank, thank you very much, sir. The band we're talking to is Gringo Star. They're going to be at Ella's tonight in uh, Seminole Heights. If you're in uh, if you're in the neighborhood, just drop on by and uh, check them out. Tomorrow night they'll be at uh, in uh, in Orlando. Orlando at Will's. At Will's uh, Will, Will's Hub. Pub. 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 Will's Pub. <laughs> The hub is downtown uh, Tampa, so I'm confused. <laughs> Will's Pub is uh, in Orlando tomorrow night, and uh, they're playing right here on WMNF's Live Music Showcase. We've got about nine or ten minutes. You guys play short songs. We could probably get about five or six songs in. Sounds like you we think? can fit about nine or ten more in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go for it. This is Gringo Star. What are we doing? The song's oh. called Get Closer. But to really cold as ice If I look a little closer You show me the way to your heart Get closer, ain't just faster
Well, I'm glad you guys. I'm glad you guys played that because uh, that's my uh, that's my favorite song by Gringo Starr. Hey, thank awesome. you. Is thank that you. is that a lot of people's favorite song by Gringo Starr? Oh, uh, it's a, it's a we get a lot of different favorites. Because I, I mean I just hear uh, I hear the 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 decades careening backwards and forwards <laughs> on that one from you know it's just uh, and what a great hook. Closer, Thanks. closer. That's a great tune by Gringo Star. They're here on our live music showcase. My name is Randy Wynn. It's a thrill being here with the, this great band from Atlanta. Coming up, uh, the Rhythm Revival at 3 o'clock. And then at 5 o'clock today, be sure to tune in because the Rebel is doing the tribute to 1959 today. And then it's going to be followed by uh, Route 66 doing 1959. The best year. So three, hour, three hours of 1959 music. Wow. Today uh, on uh, WMNF, 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. So uh, keep your dial set with the Rhythm Revival and then the great 1959 specials coming up later this afternoon on 88.5. We've got about uh, four or five minutes to go. Time for uh, one long song or two short ones, however you guys want to work it out. Four minutes to go. This song's going to be called Ask Me Why. It's going to be called Ask Me Why. Why? It is called Ask Me Why. Why? But it's going to be called that, too. It's going to continue to be. And I guess it's going to be our last one, so just want to thank everybody for listening. And Thanks. Thank you. You don't need 